hello, my name is Mrs. Shondalyn Shambly, and I teach here at the amazing Brooklyn Middle School, and this is my wonderful seventh grade English class. And today, we're going to be learning about the purpose of a coordinating conjunction. All right, so everybody look over here just for a second so we can look at what we're learning today. We're learning about the purpose of a coordinating conjunction. Why are you learning it? So that I can accurately incorporate it and use it in my everyday writing. That's the purpose, okay? How do I know I've learned it? I can correctly sort simple and compound sentences. I know the purpose of the following conjunctions, and, but, and or, and I can accurately revise my own writing to include coordinating conjunctions. Okay, are we ready? Yes. All right, so what do you think the purpose of a coordinating conjunction is? Like, why do we use those? To connect sentences. Yes, to connect two simple sentences. Okay, but when we do that, what must we include when we connect them? We can't just throw the conjunction in the middle. What must we add? Like commas. We must have our comma. And of course, we have to have our end punctuation mark, right? So here is the format. We have our simple sentence. We have our comma. We have our fanboy. We have our simple sentence. And we have our what? Period, right? We have our punctuation mark. All right. Can we just throw a fanboy just anywhere? No, no because they have a purpose. So we're going to look at three of them, OK? So look over here. Where's my ruler? So we're going to look at and. We use this quite a, quite a few times in our writing. And connects similar ideas. Here's an example. I will have fries with my meal and, comma, and I would like a what? Milkshake. But it connects opposite or contrasting ideas. For example, Sam usually plays soccer, comma, but he has a broken ankle. And the last one, or, it connects choices. Would you like mustard? Or do you want ketchup with your hamburger? So let me clear my screen for a second. Uh, let's see if I can see. Maybe I could just do this. OK, yeah. All right, so I want you guys to pay attention to the sentences that I have up here, OK? And I want you guys to notice what is happening. So this first one, someone read that first sentence for me. Yes. His guitar was pretty beaten up. up from neglect. neglect. All right, give me this other sentence. Yes. The strings were missing. The strings were missing. So I want you all to look at the three conjunctions that I have. I have and to connect things that are similar. But that kind of gives me like the opposite or contrasting ideas and or choices. Now, are these things kind of dealing with similar ideas? Yes. So which coordinating conjunction am I going to use? Yes. And. And. You want to come up here and move it for me? But can we just throw it there? What else does it need? Karma. Karma. OK, so take our and. I there you go. Go ahead and put it there. It's, it's kind of weird. So if I rewrite that, what do I need to change? I need to drop, drop the and then I need to lowercase this what? The T. Now, if I add this together, it now becomes, is this still a simple sentence? What is it now? 
Oh, it's two sentences put together. So is it simple? Just simple? It's now a compound. it's now a compound sentence. It's now a what? Compound. It's now a compound sentence. Thank you so much. All right, I got another one. Who wants to try this one? Come on, Jamie. You can stay right there for a second. So she usually studies in the library. When it is too busy, she goes to Panera Bread. Hmm. She used okay. She usually studies in the library. Where do I put it? Right here, right? Mm -hmm. Which one are you gonna put? What? Ah, cause it's showing a contrast, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Right here. Who wants to do this one? Yes. Okay, you can come up. Jamie was just telling me, but you can come up. <laughs> you said, you said you said that. Yeah, at first, I did. Oh. Hmm. Sally had a test to study tonight. She also, yes, because we're dealing with similar ideas, right? And the last one, who wants to try the last one? All right, Sally usually studies at her local library. She will study in her mom's office. Hmm. Come on. Sally usually studies at her local library. She will study in her mom's office. Hmm. So you want to look at the purpose again? All right, so and connects similar ideas, but connects things that are opposite or is some type of contrast, and or connects choices. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Excellent. All right, any questions about that? Can we just throw a conjunction anywhere? No. no. We have to look at it and see if we're looking at similar ideas, is it a contrast, or are we looking at choices? We got it? Yeah. Okay, so. So I'm about to pass these out, okay? Everyone should have their own individual Pack it. Don't do anything yet. I want you to take these two sheets and put them side by side. All right. So what do they say at the top? You should have the titles. What do they say at the top? One says what? Simple sentence. The other one says what? Compound. compound sentence. So, you know, if you see a compound sentence, what are you looking for? What What should you see? Mmm. We should see a comma, right? So, what else do we have in this bag? Some noodles. <laughs> Some macaroni noodles. All right. So. What you're going to do is you're going to take your strips that are color coded. Take your strips. Take your macaroni noodles. Mine are mm -hmm, they are. Can I take this for you? Thank you so much, sir. All right, you're going to read the strips and you are going to determine whether or not the sentence that I am reading goes under a simple sentence or a compound sentence. Once you do all of your, and that's it, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do that for, first. We're just gonna sort. We're not gonna do anything with macaroni noodles yet. 
Okay? Does everybody understand? Yes. All right. So, if I read this one, are y'all ready? One number. I served 16. I served my cake to my friends, but they were not hungry. Where does that go? Yes, Quentin. Compound sentence. So at this time, on your own, see if you can sort those sentences under the correct category. Okay, so you want me to help you? All right, so you can just see all of them. Is that what you're trying to do, organize? Okay. What about? And it looks good to me. So I'm gonna give about maybe 45 more seconds. So we have more than just three fanboys, right? Yeah. We have four and nor, but, or, yet, so, okay? We have more than just three. I'm just focusing on the three today, okay? Yes, ma'am. I found the sewing line. I know. Did you put it where it belonged? Yes. Where did you put it? Under which category? Compound, excellent. I put the milk and sugar in the bowl and then I folded it in. Excellent. Give me another one, one more. You did, you did an awesome job. Yes. The cake was delicious, but next time I will use chocolate powder. Thank you, I need a simple sentence, just two. Uh, yes. I baked the cake, wait, I baked a cake. Excellent, that's a very simple sentence, yes. Excellent. Now, I want you to put all your simple sentences back into the bag. Just drop them in the bag real quick. What's left? The commas. Compounds. Now, I need for you to put the commas, the noodle commas, where they belong. Y'all like that, right? The noodle commas. That's what I thought they were for. Put them where they belong. Because we sometimes forget. I see this in your writing. Either we don't use it or we do not put it where it belongs. So, should it go in front of the coordinated conjunction or behind it? Before. So you put that one behind and it should go where? In front of it. Very good. So we just put these two together. These are simple sentences, right? That's one simple sentence. Where's the other? Go ahead. Okay, so point to the conjunction. Okay, so where should the comma go? Right here. If this is the conjunction, where does it go? In front of it. There you go. All right, so how are we feeling about compound sentences and making sure we put our commas where they belong? I need like a thumbs up to the side. I'm still not sure. Mishambly, I'm still a little confused. Put it all the way down. I need to see. Still, still, up. I don't see all the thumbs up. Good. Yesterday, we read our indep Yeah, it's okay. I've re we read our independent books. So all of us are reading something that we chose to read. And I am currently reading The Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus. Okay? So we said that we will be able to accurately revise our writing to include the coordinating conjunctions. Okay, so now that we know the purpose, now we're gonna look in our writing to see if we can infuse and incorporate and, but, and or. So, 
I am now modeling some of what I wrote from yesterday. Okay, I have my format here. I have my simple sentence, comma, fanboy, simple sentence, period, which makes a compound sentence, all right? So using the format that we usually use when we, we're summarizing, we start out with today I read chapter, um, the title of the book, and the author. We also include main ideas, supporting details, and our thoughts, OK? So today I read chapter 11 of, an insignificant, of insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus by Dusty Bolin. Connor comes over to visit Avon. She takes him to an ice cream shop. He doesn't like ice cream. So I see a part here where I can actually include a conjunction. What do you all think I could include right here? She takes him to an ice cream shop. Ooh, because it's showing a contrast, right? Yeah. Yes. Avon reminded him that she was born without arms, period. Henry didn't seem to believe her. But again, we're showing a contrast. Now, I could have used it here also. Um, then immediately, he asked Avon about her missing arm. And he wanted to know if she was in an accident. So I could put and here. So, Ms. Shambly, why are we doing this? We're doing this so that we can have sentence variety. Do you all want all of your sentences to be simple? No. no, you want some compound, and we're gonna learn next, some complex, okay? So, look in your writing now. And see if you can add either and, but, or, or, inside of your writing. Put our comma and write and, okay? Made it a little tough, right? Did you find a place? Excellent, let me see. What did you use? And she still wants to feel. Can I get a high five, please? Thank you. All right, so I know everyone hasn't had the opportunity to insert, but do you all see how we cannot just throw a conjunction anywhere. Do you see that? Yes. All right, so when we are writing our performance task, I want you guys to really think about opportunities where you can create sentence variety and you can use conjunctions so that all your sentences are not simple, okay? Thank you for joining myself and Mr. Joyner today. I hope you were able to learn something about using coordinating conjunctions and their purpose and revising your own writing and using that in your writing.